here with uh, Floyd Reefer of Jamaica Talawas. Floyd, before we get into the questions that we've been sent from the media, perhaps you could give me a rundown of how things are in the camp right now. Hey man, things, things are going pretty good. Um, the guys are jamming well together. I've been spending a lot of time um, with each other in the team room and we had one or two team functions as well. So I would say that the team is in very good spirits and everybody's enjoying each other's company and enjoying each other's success. Can we get an update on where Chadwick Walton is as far as injury is concerned? He went off uh, during one of your matches and we haven't seen him since. Well, yeah, Chadwick had a, a hamstring strain. Um, currently, he's, he's being seen by the physio and he's supposed to um, see the doctor again today. So he should be okay in, a, in another few days. Uh, two wins from five for you guys. Um, traditionally speaking, 10 points has been enough to guarantee a space in the final. Uh, sorry, in the playoffs. Uh, how are you thinking in terms of the mathematics involved in you making one of those playoff spots? Well, the, the aim is to get, first, the, the ultimate is to get, is to win the competition. But obviously, we've got to get to the final four first. And by doing that, we've got to take each game, game by game. Um, in terms of the, the point standings, I still think that it is very wide open. Um, a lot of teams are close close we finish other in terms of the point situation. Um, I think net run rate will have an important part to play as well in this competition. Um, but it's just a matter of going up there now and having a, a good second half. It's all about building the momentum at the right time in tournaments like these. Um, once you get that momentum flowing into the semi-finals and into the finals then the team that does that will have a better opportunity of winning. You guys so far have shown an immense amount of bank power. We saw in your first game, second highest ever CPL score. But there's not necessarily been consistency involved in that. Mm. Is it possible to square that circle and have a hugely powerful team that takes those risks, but also have the level of consistency that's going to get you those consistent wins? Well, consistency is important, um, especially in, in a batting unit. I believe in batting synergy. right? Um, We've had a couple of good games and also we, we've had a couple of bad games as well. And that's how tournaments like this go, especially when you play games, you know, back to back like that. And the recovery time for some of the boys are, you know, very small. But saying that, you know, whatever happened in the past is in the past and we were looking forward to for the next five games and obviously we're looking to put together some consistent batting performances um, going forward. I think everybody knows the roles and the responsibilities within the batting lineup now. And it's just about execution. You know, your, your plan, your work, you, you got to work your plan. So it's just about execution now as we go out there and play. From uh, coming back to the Walton injury, um, is, is Kanar, bear in mind how him having the keeping, is that putting a little bit too much pressure on him? Uh, and is there someone else that you thought about potentially taking on those keeping duties until you get? Until you get Chadwick back. Well, um, Kenarket in, in the last couple of games. Obviously, the last game he didn't he didn't get off the bat, so I wouldn't say that it was a lot of pressure on him. We could keep him a batting, but um, I would say that it's 20 overs. I think he's, he's a fairly strong lad. Um, I think that he can he can handle that situation as well in terms of opening batting and wicket keeping. We also have another option in Shamar Brooks as well in terms of, of wicket keeping. You remember he wicket keep in a test match in New Zealand for a couple of days and kept very well. So there's another option to him as well. So, But we, we'll monitor it as, we, as we go on. I think Kenai is doing a, a pretty good job and you know we're looking forward to Chadwick coming back as soon as possible. Um, the game against TKR, having come back from where you were, 12 runs for five wickets, the post. <coughs> Such an impressive total, obviously very impressive from Imad and Carlos to build that and some great hitting from Andre Russell at the end. Yeah. Was there a sense of disappointment that you didn't carry that momentum through to close out the win after putting on what looked like a pretty competitive total? Yeah, it, it was disappointing for us. It, it, first, it only goes to show that um, the, the, the power that we have and the, and the type of batting unit that we have uh, to, to recover from 15 for 5 to get 145 runs. I think that was a great effort, you know, great batting by Carlos and Imad. And then Superman wrestled at the back end of the game, you know, to bring, brought the momentum back into our favour. Um, I think what's killing us now is our feeling. Uh, we, we're dropping too many catches. 
um, critical catches and crucial players as well. Yeah, if you drop guys that are, that are good batteries, you know, they're going to make you pay. So even the game against TKR, we dropped two catches um, within an over or so. And the score could have eas been easily 40, 40 for three. At 40 for three is a different game. So I think going forward, we've got to focus a bit more on, you know, on our fielding in terms of having a clinical effort in the field. Question here about uh, Miguel Pretorius, who's come into the side, first CPL, and has immediately made an impact, one of the bowlers of the tournament so far. Uh, what's been your thinking on Miguel and how well he's gone in the uh, first five I, I think Miguel is, is a great talent. Um, when I first you know, inquired about him, I was told in South Africa, he, he's one of the, the, the younger, younger talents in South Africa. And speaking to his agent, and obviously I spoke to J.P. Dumini as well, and he got great reviews on, on Miguel. And seeing him play, I, I think that he's a very good player. You know, we've had conversations even before he got here in the Caribbean. He was very eager, he was asking a lot of questions, you know, he was telling me about his plans. So I think this young man has a great future um, in cricket in South Africa cricket and around the circuit as well. Floyd Reaper of the Jamaica Talawas, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.